Disappointing to kind of stay in the game free free and then kind of lose in the last couple of minutes there. Yeah, I think that anytime you're able to tie a game up like like that, you love to see it get at least to overtime. But um, you know, certainly didn't feel uh, if you look at the overall 60 minutes that we probably uh, didn't deserve uh, to win the hockey game. So at the end of the day, uh, we paid the price for it at the end. Uh, five goals in the last four games for Schlappi. Uh, kind of what's, what have you seen in his game in the last few games? Kind of like that. Played hard, competing. You know, I think uh, you know since he's come back. But maybe wasn't great the first night back there, but obviously traveling from Nashville. But since then, he's he's been great, you know, and uh, he's the type of player you want when you're you're battling for playoff positioning because uh, he competes and uh, you know you can play him with uh, a number of different types of players, right? Uh, in Cleveland, he played with Abramoff and Batherson, and uh, he can fit there, or you can put him with uh, guys like Levine and Archibald. And I thought the last. Uh, two nights there, Wednesday uh, specifically, and tonight uh, I thought they were very good. Is there anything in particular you want to see changed ahead of tomorrow's rematch? Yeah, we got to match their intensity. You know, they won uh, most of the one-on-one -on -one battles. Uh, they certainly were ready to play and compete. That's twice now in the last couple of weeks we played them where they've dominated the first period. And uh, you know, they're a much different team uh, than a lot of the teams in our division because they uh, they're a good forechecking team. They uh, they play hard uh, and they come at you. I didn't think, uh, quite frankly, that we were ready for that tonight. Now, certainly we have the skill and the speed and the offensive ability to, to st hang in games, and that's certainly what we did tonight. But uh, uh, we just didn't have enough guys ready to go tonight, and uh, certainly the stats will indicate that uh, uh, post-game here. Uh, you went to Dubo again tonight. Um, do you go to Clint Windsor tomorrow, or was Joey in a position to play? No, Joey's not playing. Uh, you know, we're hoping to get him back on the ice Monday and maybe be available for Wednesday, but we'll... Uh, we'll you know, we really won't know until we get him back uh, in a practice situation on Monday. And um, I still have to talk to the coaching staff here and see if we're going to go back to back with Dubois or, or give Clint his, uh, his opportunity. So we'll probably uh, decide that tonight or first thing in the morning. It was a much busier night for Alex. Um, did you feel he kept you in the game? Well, specifically the first period, absolutely. Um, you know, their DNA uh, in Rochester is, is to throw as many pucks towards the, the, the goal as you can. And, um, you know, we weren't ready to go in the first period, and consequently, they, they took it to us pretty good. And uh, I thought he actually kept us in the game in the first period and gave us a chance. So uh, that was the number one reason we were able to stay close. And uh, I, I thought we played much better in the second and the third as well. And uh, you know, and, and once Shabby tied up, I was like, okay, here we go. You know, uh, missed a couple opportunities, but uh, it, you know, obviously there was a huge breakdown uh, in execution on that winning goal, and ultimately. Uh, Cost is a hockey game. Um, uh, no Joey tomorrow, and is anybody else getting close? Uh, no Brown and uh, Bowen's earliest would be next weekend on the road trip, uh, whether it was in, be in Utica or Syracuse. Um, and really, that's that's really it. Davison's out long term. Uh, Branstrom's still uh, his four to six, and uh, yeah. So other than that, I think that's what it comes to the injured guys. But nobody, uh, uh, you know, Stu Percy will might actually get him in the game tomorrow. But we'll see. Uh, Injury-wise, uh, how we fared tonight.